What is up, everybody? JT Dangerous here once again. I am back from my Ring of Honor and New Japan Pro Wrestling's War of the Worlds LOL 2018 predictions. Now, War of the Worlds happens this Wednesday live on Honor Club from LOL, Massachusetts. Now, this card is pretty damn solid as of right now. We have six big matches with only the Ring of Honor World title on the line. So I'm very excited to do these predictions for you guys, and I hope you guys do enjoy. Now, our record coming into War of the Worlds LOL after our last Ring of Honor pay-per-view, which was Supercard of Honor 11 all the way back in April, we did not do good. We went 5-6. and six. Our overall record coming in is 73-27. and 27. So our year-long winning streak that we had on the channel is now over. Not happy about it. Supercard of Honor just did not go our way, so I was very disappointed, but... Like they always say, when one streak ends, another streak may begin. So that's what I'm really hoping for. So hopefully in this video, we'll, we will get back on the winning track and start a new winning streak. Now, this is the first of four videos. That's right, four big videos that will be up on the channel today. So hopefully you guys will show your love on all four of the videos. Now, right after this, I'll have my War of the Worlds Toronto predictions. After that, my War of the Worlds Michigan predictions. And finally, my War of the Worlds Chicago predictions. So remember, four big Ring of Honor New Japan Pro Wrestling pay-per-views will be up on the channel today. Show your love, as always, on all four videos by, as always, watching the video, super kicking that like button, and voicing your opinions and uh, your comments in the comment section down below. Now, if this is your first time watching my channel as a first-time viewer, and this is your first video, Boy, you picked a good one if you're a huge Ring of Honor fan like myself and a huge New Japan Pro Wrestling fan as like myself. Welcome to the Dangerous Alliance. I am JT Dangerous Thing. Welcome to the club because this club is just too... Whoop, whoop. Again, thank you guys so very much. Now, other than that, let's get right into these predictions. Starting off with the first matchup, it is a tag team battle featuring on one side, you have the very athletic Flip Gordon, and his tag team partner is a legend in New Japan Pro Wrestling, one of my all-time favorites. He is Jushin Thunder Liger, and their opponents, they are the reigning Ring of Honor World Tag Team Champions, coming from me, the greatest World tag, uh, Ring of Honor cha Tag Team Champions of all time. They are Mark and Jay the Briscoes. Now, this is, of course, a non-title match. So, coming from me in this first matchup, uh, man, with the best of the Super Juniors starting next week, you know Flip is going to be in it this year, and do not be surprised. He has a pretty good showing in his first year. So, coming from me in this matchup, I am taking the Briscoes to defeat Flip Gordon and Jushin Thunder Liger. And now the next matchup. It is a six-man tag team battle. Starting off on one side, they are representing Chaos. And they are consisting of the former two-time IWGP Junior Heavyweight Tag Team Champions. A company, uh, and with their uh, Hype Master Supreme, Rocky Romero, they are Show Yo Rapungi 3K. And their opponents, they are all representing Cody's... Just too sweet, baby. Whoop, whoop. Consisting of the hangman and the problem solver of Bullet Club, hangman Adam Page. He and uh, his partners consisting of one, the brand new and one third of the IWGP Never Six Man Tag Team Champions. He is also the number one contender for the Ring of Honor World Championship, and he is looking to be in the best of the Super just this year and make this year his year. Now, if you know his music, you know who I'm talking about. <sighs> whoop, whoop! Scroll, and finally, he is the self-proclaimed leader of Bullet Club, and he is the master manipulator. And if you know his music, you know who I'm talking about. American Nightmare spot picking Cody. Now, 
this is a this is going to be a big time matchup. Uh, starting off with Scroll, he has a huge opportunity to hold three belts. He he won the IWGP Never Six Man t uh, Tag Team Titles from the Bullet Club OGs at Wrestling Don Taku Night One with the Young Bucks. So now he's a six man tag team champion. He's definitely going to be in this year's Best of the Super Junior. So he has a chance to become once again the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Champion, and he's also the number one contender for Dalton Castle's Ring of Honor World Title at next month's Best in the world so this could be a big month for marty scroll he could be holding three belts and uh, both cody and page coming off uh split wins cody defeating kota bushi and adam page losing to kenny omega and with rapungi 3k looking to uh i think they are challenging socal and Sanders for the six-man titles i think either at toronto or michigan they're looking to get some momentum into their title match so coming from me in this six-man tag team battle Oh, man. Um, Rapungi 3K showing you. Definitely going to be in the best of the Super Juniors. And you already know. You already know the deal with Rapungi 3K. They do the damage. R uh, Rocky picks up the scraps. But coming from me in this matchup, I am taking the team of Cody, the villain Marty Scrawl, and Hangman Adam Page to defeat Rapungi 3K. And now the next matchup. It is another big six-man tag team matchup. Starting off on one side, they are the reigning Ring of Honor World six-man tag team champions. They are almighty Christopher Daniels, the heavy metal rebel, Frankie Kazarian, and Scorpio Sky. They are so Cal uncensored in their opponents. Starting off with first, he is the franchise of Ring of Honor. He is the master of the lethal injection. He is Jay Lethal. Next, he is the former PWG heavyweight champion. He is the Kentucky gentleman, Chucky e. T. And finally, he is the reigning IWGP United States champion, one of my all-time favorites. He is Switchblade, Jay White. Now, SoCal and Center do, ha do have a title defense against Rapungi 3K, I think either on at Toronto or Michigan. So they're looking to get some momentum coming in. In. Jay Lethal, former world champ, Chucky e. T, I think the former or current PWG champ, and Jay White has been the hottest thing in New Japan right now. He um, he has been on fire since winning the title in January. So coming from me in this six-man tag team matchup, ooh, this one's tough. I'm going to go with, man, this one's really tough. I'm going to go with the team of Jay Lethal, Chucky e. T, and Switchblade J. White to defeat SoCal Uncensored. And now the next matchup. It is a six-man tag team battle featuring on one side. They are all representing Los Ingobernables de Japón. First, they are the reigning IWGP heavyweight tag team champions. First, he is Cold Skull Sonata. And his tag team partner is one of my all-time favorites because I love doing this. He is king of darkness. Evil. Because this is evil. Everything is evil. Subadewa. All of it. Everything is. Yuda. And there and the final member of the team is the leader of Los Ingobernables, their opponent. And he is the reigning IWGP Intercontinental Champion. And if you know his music, you know who I'm talking about. He is Tetsuya Naito, and their opponents. He first, he is the reigning. ROH World uh, Television Champion, he is wrestling's last real man, Silas Young. And his partners consisting of the Beer City Bruiser and the big man, Brian Malonis. Now, talk about a fantastic six-man tag match. You got the reigning inter IWGP Intercontinental Champion, the reigning heavyweight tag team champions against the current, the currently the Ring of Honor Television Champion. And you already know. When what you saw with Suzuki and Naito, you can see this coming. You already know Naito is going to try to get into the head of Silas Young because Silas is just like Minoru Suzuki, old school, uh, 
punch in the face, take no prisoners. And and Silas Young has a huge, huge title defense at Ring of Honor, uh, War of the World Chicago, where he'll be defending against the greatest man that ever lived, Austin Aries. So he's got a huge title match in Chicago on Sunday. So it's a big, this is, he's looking for some momentum going into that title matchup. So coming from me in the six-man tag team battle, Oh, man, oh, man, this one's going to be good. This one's going to be a really good six-man tag. I'm going to go with the team of Tetsuya Naito, Evil and Sonata to defeat Silas Young, the Beer City Bruiser, and Brian Malonis. Tranquilo! Asienayo! And now the next matchup, a big tag team battle featuring on one side. They are representing, once again... Just too sweet, baby. Whoop, whoop. They are the brand new and two. They are the. They oh, I forgot. They are the two. Brand, they are the brand new IWGP Never Six Man Tag Team Champions, excuse me, two thirds of them. And they are coming for me, the greatest tag team in New Japan Pro Wrestling history. And they're also the number one contenders for the IWGP Heavyweight Tag Team titles. And they're looking to get some momentum into their soon to be title matchup against Evil and Sonata. Because you already know, lol, it ain't no party like a. Uh, Partay with, of course, Matt, Nick, the Young Bucks, and their opponents. They are representing Los Ingobernables de Japón. First, he is the master of the Bushi Rooney and the master of the MX. He is MX Bushi and his partner. He is the former IWGP Junior Heavyweight Champion, a man who will be in this year's Best of the Super Juniors, as well as Bushi. He is one of my all-time favorites. He is Ticking Time Bomb, Horomu. Takahashi. Now, I think this is a first time meeting between the Young Bucks and Bushi and Hiromu. Now, with the Young Bucks winning the IWGP Never Openweight six-man tag team titles at Wrestling Duntaku Night 1 over the BCOGs with their tag team partner Marty Skrull, they're looking to add more gold back to Bullet Club in which they... That same night, they challenged Evil and Sonata for the IWGP heavyweight titles and then super kicked them, and, and then Evil accepted the match. So we may have that match at maybe Dominion in June or maybe earlier, but the Young Bucks are looking to make a statement in their, uh, in their first title opportunity in the heavyweight tag team division. Then on the other side, you have Bushi and Hiromu, who have been going back and forth with Suzuki Guns, Kanamaru, and Desperado for the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Tag Team titles. And this is a pretty interesting, uh, this is a pretty interesting battle for them. So, coming from me in this first time ever tag team matchup between the Bucks and Hiromu and, uh, and Bushi, ah, this one's tough. This one's a tough pick because, again, I like Bushi and I love Hiromu Takahashi. But again, this Young Bucks team is on fire right now. I mean, winning winning the Never Six Man titles again, and w just with a different partner, is saying a lot. Now they're they're gonna they're they're going in with a lot of momentum into their heavyweight tag team title matchup in the future. So coming from me in this matchup, I am taking the Young Bucks to defeat Bushi and Hiromu Takahashi. And now the main event for the coveted Ring of Honor World Championship. Starting off with the challenger first. He is accompanied by his fellow members of the kingdom, TK Orion and Vinny Marcellius. He is the number one contender for the Ring of Honor World title. And he's looking to win the title that he has never held and end the kingdom conspiracy. He is the leader of the kingdom. He is Matt Taven. And Matt Taven is challenging the reigning and defending Ring of Honor World Champion, accompanied by the boys he is the party peacock himself Dalton Castle now starting off with Matt Taven Matt Taven's having a hell of a year 
Since his big win against Will Ospreay at Final Battle last year, he has been on a tear. And I think he went to Mexico and he went he won a heavyweight title. So he's coming in with one belt and he could be leaving with two. But he's looking to end the, ki the Kingdom Conspiracy and finally win the belt that he has never held. He's never held the Ring of Honor World title. And with backup with like TK Orion and Vinny Marsalias, Taven has a great opportunity here. He's already knocked off Osprey. He's already knocked off Cody. So... This is a make or break moment for Matt Taven. And then on the other side, you have Dalton Castle, who has been the champion since December, uh, since final battle, and he has taken on all comers from the Beer City Bruiser, from, from, um, Trent Beretta, guys outside of the United States, he has defended the title. And then he had that amazing match with Jay Leto at the Supercard of Honor for the Ring of Honor World title, and he's got a huge, huge opponent at best in the world if he accepts it against Marty Scroll. So, he has been a fighting champion, but he's been a great Ring of Honor World Champion. I think he's held the title for five months. So, again, um, Dalton Castle has been a great champion. And with his bangerang, uh, that finisher that can come out of nowhere, you just never know. So, coming from me in this main event matchup for the Ring of Honor World Championship. Oh, man, oh, man. This one's a really tough one because, again, um, Matt Taven is on a roll coming in. And uh, he could be the he could be holding two belts and end the kingdom conspiracy. And he's got the backup with TK Orion and Vinny Marcellius. They'll definitely get involved early. That is for sure. But coming from me, I'm going to take Dalton Castle to retain the Ring of Honor World Championship and defeat Matt Taven. And those are my War of the Worlds Lowell 2018 predictions. Now, I hope you guys did enjoy these predictions today. Comment below. Who do you have winning all these matchups? Who do you have between the Bucks and Hiromu and Bushi? And who do you have between Matt Taven and Dalton Castle? Let me know in the comment section below. Let's have a conversation about it. Of course, I'm always on to see your comment, like it, and of course, reply right back to you because comments are absolutely always welcome on this channel. Now, I do want to thank you guys so very much for watching. Now, before you go, you can never forget to do this. That like button, comment, share with your friends, of course, super kick! That like button, like only you guys can, of course, you can never forget to do this as well. That subscribe button, become part of this bigger and dangerous, dangerous lines, and I will see you guys later today for my Ring of Honor and New Japan Pro Wrestling's War of the Worlds Toronto 2018 predictions. Later days, and peace!